Welcome to part 2 of 18 in the B300 series engine rigging video series. References for the condition control fuel cutoff check procedures can be found in the B300 series maintenance manual, chapter 76-10-11-601. Place the appropriate condition lever in the low idle position. The condition control cable is connected to the ribbed tab of the FCU fuel condition lever. A functional check of the fuel flow and fuel cutoff system can be carried out as follows. Fuel flow divider. This is located at the 6 o'clock position on the engine gas generator case. Disconnect fuel delivery line. Motor the engine by placing the start control switch in the starter only position. Move the condition lever forward from the cutoff position and confirm that the fuel flows from the line. Move the condition lever to the fuel cutoff position. Make sure that the fuel flow stops when the condition lever is approximately halfway between the low idle and the fuel cutoff detents. If the fuel flow does not stop, adjust the condition control cable rod end as necessary to meet these requirements. With the condition lever in the fuel cutoff position, the fuel condition cam moves against the cutoff stop and actuates a lever depressing the fuel cutoff valve plunger on the FCU. The integral cutoff valve in the FCU provides a positive means of shutting off fuel flow to the engine. Once the fuel cutoff check has been performed and satisfied, reconnect fuel delivery line. For further information, please make sure to watch the next video in the B300 series engine rigging video series. For technical assistance, please contact Textron Aviation's Team Turboprop Technical Support at 316-676-3140 or 1-800-429-5372. Team Turboprop can also be reached at kingair underscore support at txtav.com.